What's going on guys? Welcome back to What Cheers. I'm Nick and tonight I'm going to take a look at a beer that is sort of a special request from a friend of mine. Um, my friend Mark up in Maine uh, just acquired this brand new beer from a brand new brewery called Bissell Brothers Brewing Company out of Portland, Maine. Um, apparently they've been working on this beer for a long time. They finally released it um, and it's basically supposed to be a delicious hot bomb. Um, so I'm really excited to try it out. I've never heard of these guys. They just opened a few months ago as far as I understand. And this is the only beer that they're um, currently canning and distributing right now on draft in four packs. So um, it's very, very fresh. Uh, this was canned um, a week ago today. So it's extremely fresh and um, I did a little bit of research about these guys because I really don't know anything about them. There are two brothers um, that opened the brewery just a few months ago. I think they really got started, um, but they've probably been brewing for a long time. I really don't know. Um, yeah, they distribute the beer themselves. Yeah, This is going to be their flagship, obviously. This is um, what they, they said is going to be their bread and butter. Um, and on the can it says, the Substance Ale is a creation two years in the making, represents the past, present, and future of beer, drawing from the wealth and knowledge of those who came before us while creating something entirely our own. Waves of hop flavor permeate the senses as you consume the substance. We started Bissell Brothers for one reason, to use the short time that we have here to live to make something awesome and to share it with the world. Thank you for enjoying the fruits of our labor. So, they're really all about hoppy beers, um, as far as I understand, that's what they're going to focus on. And it's interesting because if you go to Beer Advocate, this is listed as an American IPA. If you go to Rate Beer, it's listed as an American Pale Ale. Um, maybe these guys can let us know what they classify it as. Is it a Pale Ale or is it an IPA? I don't know. Um, but I do know that it's 6.6% .6 alcohol by volume. and um, I also know that I'm really excited to get into this, so let's check out the flagship beer from Bissell Brothers Brewing called The Substance. Alrighty, there you go guys, got The Substance poured into the glass, and as you can see, it is a gorgeous looking hoppy beer. Um, I would lean towards saying this is an IPA, but I really don't know. But it looks incredible, um, it's a glowing yellow, like very bright yellow. Um, almost leaning towards like an orange but more like a lemon color to it it is definitely completely hazy it's got a huge two finger almost a three finger of a really like creamy like fluffy kind of white head to it with big bubbles um, it just looks pretty freaking awesome and I can tell you already that I'm impressed because whenever I can pour a beer and I can already smell it that's awesome. Like this is definitely gonna pack some serious aroma and flavor, I'm sure. So I don't know what hot profile is in this beer. Um, maybe they can tell us, maybe that's secret, I don't really know. But um, let's go ahead and get a aroma on the substance, guys. So far, an amazing looking beer. Oh yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Big, sweet, citrusy notes, tropical fruit notes. <clears throat> I'm getting a sweet, like, candied orange smell. I'm getting some of that pineapple, a little bit of grapefruit. A little bit of lemon zest, too, um, but mainly it's that sweet, kind of tropical, uh, I don't know, you know, sweet pineapple. Um, definitely some of that candied orange, like I said little bit of that lemon lime kind of thing going on which I really really like it's extremely good smelling like it, like way better than I even anticipated this smells like a legit world-class IPA already I can't exactly put my finger on what it reminds me of but it definitely reminds me of some of the really like top tier um, hoppy beers that I've had from you know the small breweries up in Vermont and and, um, and mass and stuff. Ooh, this thing smells amazing. Let's get a, let's get a sip, guys. Cheers, thanks. Thanks, Mark. 
Oh, wow. That is definitely a hot bomb. Big, big hot presence, big hot bite. Um, really clean, really refreshing. 6.6% alcohol, you know, non-existent as far as smell or taste. Um, right off the bat, I can tell you that the aroma came across a lot sweeter, more tropical fruit forward than the taste. Not that the taste is a letdown, but it's just a little bit different than what you expect when you smell the beer um, as compared to how it actually tastes. Very, very bright, sort of like that grapefruit rind, like orange, orange, you know, that pithy kind of um, citrus taste to it, but very, very bright, very citrusy, um, you know, a, 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 a little bit of a sweetness to it, but nothing, you know, not, not a malt bomb or anything like that. I mean, I get a little bit of malt presence, not too much. Beer definitely finishes um, nice and dry, but it's not overly bitter. It's definitely one of those beers that hits you, packs a punch with the hops, and then kind of just goes away and like nice and slowly. I really, really like the way it's done. Yeah, as I'm smelling it now, I'm getting more, I'm getting pine, I'm getting resinous kind of hop character to it as well. Just a really extremely fresh beer. I mean, it's really good stuff. It just, it's almost like, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but it's its like a really generic kind of hot bomb. You've had this beer before, if you've had like main beer company, you know, their lunch IPA or maybe their Mo or something like that, their Mo Pale Ale, but generally it's just a really, really well-made um, you know, small batch, well-crafted, clean, refreshing hot bomb. It's got citrus notes, it's got a little bit of that pine resinous character to it in the taste, um, and then the aroma as it, it's starting to warm up now. But it's just, a, and I say generic, and that, that probably sounds bad, but I don't mean it that way. I just mean that this kind of beer, it's been done before, but it's a very, very good example of a very sessionable, in my opinion, a sessionable, delicious, refreshing, crisp, hoppy, um, you know, canned beer. Like, you know, obviously you're going to think of, you know, things like Hetty Topper when you see, you know, a big, tall boy, um, small batch, hoppy beer. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely like, it's a really, I would say it's bordering, like, world class a level for me. It's an excellent beer. Is it the best um, you know, juiciest IPA. No, it's more citrus. It's more um, just hot bite, hot presence, clean, refreshing. Not as much um, tropical fruit flavors or those kind of flavors that you might expect after smelling the beer, but still very, very well done from the Bissell Brothers. I'm actually looking forward to seeing what they do with something like a double IPA. All right, guys, so as far as the score goes for the Bissell Brothers, the substance um, IPA pale ale. Um, I would say it's a delicious beer. Absolutely, I recommend it. Um, as I've been drinking it, I really find it's extremely similar to my palate anyway to the main beer company Lunch IPA. It's essentially got the same notes to it as far as the aroma and taste. It's extremely well crafted. It's extremely well made. Um, if you've had main lunch before, this is very similar. Because I believe this was, I think, twelve dollars for a four pack um, of, you know, pint-sized cans. So that's a really good deal. Right now, in beer advocate, this beer has a ninety overall, but it's very, very new. So there's only like a few ratings on it. I would say it's a little bit better than a ninety. I would go like 92, 93. It's definitely an A beer in my opinion. There's nothing wrong with it. It's extremely well executed. Um, you know, for my personal taste, I prefer a little bit more sweetness, a little bit more tropical fruit flavors, a little less of the citrusy, resinous, pine character, but that's just me. It's still an amazing beer. I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of these. And um, in, in my opinion, it's just shy of world class, but it's definitely one of the better offerings that you can get for fresh, you know, small batch local beer in a tall boy can for a four pack for 12 bucks. It's it's definitely an A beer in my opinion, no question about it. Very, 
sessionable for what it is. I mean, they, I think in something I read, they said they it's crushable, and I agree. It's definitely a crushable beer. Um, you know, it's got a great mouthfeel to it as well. Carbonation spot on. The beer just moves across your palate. You know, as soon as you swallow, you're ready for another sip. Kind of dries out your tongue. Um, it's just a very, very um, bright, refreshing, citrusy um, forward beer for sure. So yeah, guys, thanks a lot um, for watching. I hope I did this review well for you guys over at Bissell Brothers. Um, you know, thanks to Mark for sending this uh, this four pack down to me. I know he's friends with um, with you guys over at Bissell Brothers, and he wanted me to do a showcase on it. So. Here it is. Um, definitely recommend checking out these guys up in Portland. And um, I look forward to seeing what they do in the future. So for now, guys, I'm going to go enjoy some substance. And um, yeah, check these guys out and support them because this beer is awesome. All right, guys, so remember, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you've had the substance before. And I'd be interested in hearing from you guys. So thanks, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.